All right, in this video, we're going to find the equation of a line through the point 5, negative 2, and perpendicular to the line 2x plus 5y equals 7. So first off, we probably better see what this, all, this, all these symbols mean before we just jump into the witchcraft of the algebra. So I'll go ahead and uh, graph that point. We'll call it A. So I'll let A equal to 5 comma negative 2. And there it is on the bottom left. And then I'll type in the equation, 2x plus 5y equals 7. And so there's my line. So we want a perpendicular line to that um, through line through point A. So uh, GeoGebra is kind of nice because it can do a perpendicular line. So I'll hit A, I'll hit the line. And what's nice is... GeoGebra even right there gives us the equation. It, the answer we're supposed to come up with is 5x minus 2y equals 29. So let's show, you won't always have GeoGebra, and so let's do this thing by hand. So here's the cookbook approach of doing it. So first thing, we're going to find the slope of that bottom line, that 2x plus 5y equals 7. So to start with, We'll go ahead and solve for y to put it in slope intercept form. So I'll subtract 2x from both sides of the equation. So 5y equals negative 2x plus 7. Then I'll divide everything by 5. And the equation in slope intercept form is y equals negative 2, whoops, 2 fifths x plus 7 fifths. And we know y equals mx plus b is that for slope intercept form, and m is my slope. So the slope of my original equation is negative 2 fifths. Okay? Um, previously, I taught you that perpendicular slope, you flip and change the sign. So the perpendicular slope is 5 halves positive. So I'm going to use that and then point slope form of an equation. So y minus y1 over x minus x1 equals m is the point slope form. So we'll take, we know our point, which is 5 comma negative 2. And we know our slope, which is positive 5 halves. Yep, just making sure that's right. And so we'll just substitute these in and cross multiply. So y minus a negative 2 over x minus 5 equals 5 halves. All right, um, two negatives makes a positive, and we can cross multiply. So 2y plus 4 equals 5x minus 25. And uh, I want to put this in standard form, just like GeoGebra had it. And so I will subtract 5x from both sides of the equation. And so negative 5x plus 4, oops, plus 2y, excuse me. I guess we can put the 4 first. Community property doesn't matter. Plus 2y plus 4 equals 25, or community property would allow us to do that. And then I will subtract the 4 from that. And now both sides, so we have negative 5x plus 2y equals negative 29, or I don't like that negative out front, so 5x minus 2y equals positive 29, and we found the equation of line using the witchcraft, or the algebra side of it. So um, it matches. There you go. There's kind of the cookbook approach to figuring it out if you don't graph it. And uh, we'll just double check with our graph. Yep, 5x minus 2y equals 29. And we're done. Good luck. I hope this helps. Uh, watch it again and again.